Google Forms has gotten a little makeover. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the settings and advanced features that you have when using Google Forms. I've already gone ahead and created a form and added some questions. This video is going to focus on these tools that you have here in the upper right hand corner. The first one are add-ons. Add-ons are little programs that provide additional functionality to your Google Forms. If you click on that, you'll see the add-ons that you have added to Google Forms. If you don't see anything listed here, it's because you haven't installed any add-ons. To get add-ons, you're going to go to the More menu and select Get Add-ons. The next option you have is the color palette. So if you don't like the purple, you can change that to whatever color you prefer. You also can choose from a series of images. So there are lots of themes that uh, Google provides for you, and you can choose one of those themes, or you can also upload your own photo to really customize your theme. So when you find a photo or a theme that you like, you'll go ahead and click Select, and once you, that theme loads, you'll notice that your Google Form is color coordinated to match the theme. The next button is your preview button. If you click on that, you are going to see what your form will look like to your users. That allows you to preview what it will look like. The next option are your settings. First is who can respond. By default, anyone can respond to this form. They don't have to have a Google account and they don't have to log in. If you are a Google Apps for Education domain, you will see an option to anyone in your domain. If we choose that, that means that anyone in Norfolk Public Schools, they have to have an npsne.org email account in order to be able to access this form. They will have to be logged into that account before they will be able to interact with this form. Once you check that, you have some other options. The first option is to automatically collect respondents Norfolk Public Schools user's name. In this case, it would be collecting their email address. This option is really nice because then I don't have to add a name question to my Google Form. It will automatically collect their name. You also can sub, uh, allow only one submission per response. Again, this requires a login, so they have to be logged in in order to see the form, and if they are logged in, they can only submit the form one time. The confirmation page is what the uh, respondents see at, when they submit the form. By default, the message is your response has been recorded, but you can change that to anything that you want. At, Alternatively, you can also show respondents a link to, you'll notice that submit another response is grayed out because we only allowed them to submit one response here, so you will not have that option. Edit their responses means they can go back in and change their responses. See a summary of responses means that a summary will be visible to all form respondents if you check that. If this is a quiz, you probably don't want to check that option. Presentation options include in showing a progress bar at the end of the form, so if you have a multi-page form, you'll probably want to turn that on, and also shuffling question order. This is great if you're doing this as a quiz, it will shuffle the questions so that no two forms have the questions in the same order. Go ahead and click Save to save those settings. Your send options include, again, you can choose who can respond to the form here, same as you did in settings, but sending the form, you can send it via email, enter an email address, a subject, and a message. You can even include the form in the email. You can also get a link to the form, so if you're putting this on a website or a blog, you can copy this link and add that, have users click on that to access the form or you can even embed the form. So again, if you're doing this on a blog or a, a website and you want them to access the form right there, embed that. So you'll get the embed code and you'll add that to the HTML section of that, um, your blog or your website. You also have some more actions underneath the three dots. You can make a copy of the form. You can move it to a folder. You can move it to the trash if you no longer lead it. You can get a pre-filled link, and you can print the form. Add collaborators means you can add people to collaborate with you on this form. They would have edit rights to the form in that case. You can access the script editor. You can get add-ons. You can access the help center, report a problem, or even take a tour of new forms. Because this is a fairly big redesign, Google is allowing you to revert back to old forms for a limited time. If you see the running man in the lower left-hand corner, you can go back and use the old Google Forms. That will only be available for a limited time. New, the new version of Google Forms is really nice. I think you'll like it if you start using it. 